Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna be checking out the complex base building system from Raging Spoon Toys. So the folks over at Raging Spoon Toys sent these sets over to me to take a look at. Uh, so wanted to make sure you knew that up front, this product was provided for this review. Um, the Series 1 sets have already been made available. You can purchase them right now, but there's also an ongoing Kickstarter for even more stuff to go with this base building system. Um, and I think it's a really cool idea. For any of you out there who might be interested in doing some diorama building for your three and three quarter inch action figures specifically, this might be something that appeals to you if you have not already seen these. So what we've got here in front of us today uh, are the series one sets. So this is the wall series and the floor series. Um, and these are the urban ones. I believe there are also some uh, more tan ones, but these are gonna be kind of more the gray color palette for so it's like this urban uh almost like a like an urban warehouse or building type setting um so we got these pieces here but this is a fully like connectable base building system that allows you to build up cool dioramas like i said specifically for your three and three quarter inch sized action figures and even more specifically than that these are absolutely made with G.I. Joe in mind, your three and three quarter inch or four inch G.I. Joe figures. But there are some other options you could use for display as well. But let me go ahead and show you guys what we've got going on here if you've never seen these before. So this is the wall set that I showed you. And we're gonna open that up just so you can see everything that comes in this particular set. So this is our wall that comes in the wall set right there and it is double sided. So you can see this, uh, you know, you got kind of more just like a plain gray like doorway or a wall there. The other side looks a little more techy. Uh, we've got like computer screens and everything going on there as well. Um, and this is really cool because this is also a doorway. So you can actually pop these out. And this is one thing that you're gonna find with this. There's a lot of removable pieces which allows you to kind of customize these however you want to. So look at that, we can remove that so that way we we can just have a doorway if we want to make a doorway um, or you can even kind of pop parts back on there. There's little holes all over this thing so you can plug in different things. For example, if you do just the bottom half of the door, there's a hole right there that is specifically meant so that you can plug in certain weapons that maybe come with some of your G.I. Joe figures. So you could put like turrets or anything like that on the doorway if you want to. So that is really cool. It's really neat how all of this works. This set also includes one connector piece and we get one step piece. And the way that this works, and I'm gonna show you this with the uh, the floor pieces too, but all of these pieces connect together with this cool little slide rail essentially. So look at that. You can just slide this on the bottom there. We've got one little step that we can connect to these little slot holes on the front, just like so. And so now we've got ourselves a little step there as well. So that's our wall set. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, floor set there and then we'll uh, play more with the connectability so you can see what you guys can do with these. So the floor set, each floor set comes with two floor pieces. And again, these are also double sided. So you can see we've kind of got like the, uh, the metal floors there or the other side's kind of got the concrete floors. Of course, these can also double as walls if you want them to, so it's gonna be really cool for all of your all of your different types of base building there. And then we also get four different connector pieces. So here's what we got. We've got a connector piece that is smooth on two sides, has the rails on two sides. We've got one that's got the rail on three sides, smooth on one side. Uh, we got uh, one that's got like the L shape rail. So you can see one here, which is gonna be good for connecting like a wall to a floor. And then you've got one with a rail on all four sides. So again, if we wanted to connect any of these together, let me show you how this works. Uh, we'll take this L-shaped one here, for example. Uh, let's say we wanted to use this as our floor piece. You can see how this just easily slides right on there into the slots that are all the way around. And then uh, let's say we want to do kind of like the concrete look for a wall there. Look at that. It just easily kind of slides in place just like that. And suddenly we've got ourselves a cool little diorama. If you want some measurements, you can see that each of these floor pieces is almost a full six inches in length there. And of course they are squares all the way around. So like I said, these are gonna be good for fitting your three and three quarter inch action figures specifically. Now these are stackable as I mentioned. So if you really wanted to, you know, we could take another piece here like this. And you know, if I've got some of the extra sets, I've got some more of the floor pieces there. You can also go upwards. So you could in theory make these taller 
if you wanted to build larger displays to build some walls or some bases for figures that might be more in the five inch or the six inch uh, figure realm. So there are definitely possibilities here. Um, I'm really impressed with the overall quality of these because these are full production pieces. So these are like really nice sturdy feeling plastic pieces and it's very easy to connect all of these little connectors together. I was really, really impressed with that. And uh, of course you can get really, really creative with this. Now I'll be perfectly honest, I've never been real big into the diorama building scene myself um, and I don't really consider myself a customizer by any means. But I bet some of you guys out there are far more creative at this sort of thing than I am and you could probably come up with some really, really cool ideas. But here, let me just show you like, let me connect some of these other pieces together here. So for example, I'm actually gonna pull this one out. We're gonna connect two floors together here on the bottom. And I'm just kind of doing this on the fly right now, just to give you guys like a, an example of what could be done here. Um, so like, I've already got this step piece connected to this particular wall, but you can see the other side's got the little lip there. So if we wanted to, we can go ahead and connect that across right there. And then what's really cool too, is so you can see we got this extra space in the middle. So now I can stabilize that. If I find one of the pieces that's got the rails on both sides, we just kind of line that up there and slide that in the middle there. It does get a little tight sometimes, but you can just kind of press that into place and that'll really like make it nice and sturdy. Look how sturdy these bases are. Like when you got them all linked together, that is fantastic. And you can see now I've created like a longer floor. I've got a longer wall space there. Um, and you could really keep building on top of that. Like you could do multi-level stuff. It's very easy to do. I mean, again, you've got all of these pieces that, you know, you got these rails that have the rails on different sides. So, you know, if I wanted to make extra stories or roofs, I can do that as well. So really the possibilities are pretty endless with these, um, depending on how many of these sets you want to buy to build up your different bases. Um, so I wanted to throw in a couple of different random figures just so you can see some of the things that work with these guys. I do believe that Raging Spoon's also got some coming out or may already be out that look very much more space themed so they might fit well with your Star Wars figures. But really some of these kind of just warehousey looking or techy looking walls here would work good with your space figures as well. So I think there's a lot of customizing potential here for you to build up some different sets. And of course Raging Spoon has got a ton of amazing examples with their photos of the different things that you can build with these particular sets. Now I did also mention that they have a Kickstarter going on right now, and this is gonna add even more customizable accessories to this. They actually sent along some of those accessories here. Um, now the accessories for series two that they sent me are the hand-painted prototypes. So these are not, finished by any means. Um, the production pieces that come out from the Kickstarter will of course look a lot better, but some of the things that they are hoping to include are things like a computer station there, which again, you can totally disassemble, you can take it apart, you know, you got the uh, extra monitors that you can add there, you've got like a little removable tablet that can come out. Um, so, you know, if you wanna make a, a more enemy base or, or it could be a heroic base and you want a computer screen, you've got that. Um, they got little exit signs. I love this little exit sign. So you can see it's just a little peg there. So you should be able to plug that in to anywhere on your base where there's all these various holes. You'll notice that too. And that's one thing I didn't mention. There's little holes all over the place. Those are made not only for their own accessories that they're releasing, but also perfect to fit in some of your own accessories that might be with some of your GI Joe figures or stuff like that. So that is really cool. They're working in some actual swinging doors with series two. So you can see I got an example here as well. Um, so you'll be able to actually have opening and closing doors that you can plug into those walls right there with the door segments, which is which is really cool. Um, they are working in some columns which have removable walls so that you can make them I-beams or concrete columns. There's gonna be ladders and possibly stairs, all kinds of amazing things that they are currently releasing through their second Kickstarter, which by the way, has already been funded. It's already met its goal and it's already started surpassing stretch goals. So honestly, if you're into the diorama building, the base building for your action figures, I think these are really, really fun. I was really impressed, like I said, with how easy these are to assemble. I'm impressed with how sturdy they are. They are really nice full production pieces. So they should be easy for anybody to pick up and assemble, even if you're like me and you're not really much of a customizer and don't have a ton of experience doing so.
So I have to give a very special thanks to the folks over at Raging Spoon for sending these along so we can get a good look at them outside of the box so everybody knows what to expect. Series 1 is available right now at smalljoes.com and bigbadtoystore.com. And like I said, Series 2 is currently up on an active Kickstarter, so definitely head on over and check them out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.